Well, you know, from soaked flower planters to uprooted trees, Hurricane Irene inflicted a lot of damage in our greenery in our area. But you can take some steps to restore your trees, shrubs, and flowers to the pre-storm condition. Garden expert Derek Thomas here with Thomas Landscapes. Thanks so much for coming in. How We're inside today, inside quarters. We're inside yeah. and talking about what needs to be done before you get out there and become, mm -hmm. you know, road warrior with the trees <laughs> that have come down and stuff. You know, so. you, it, it, now's the time that you should be assessing the damage. Take a look around your, your property. See if there's limbs that may have been snapped but not broken. It may just have a, a break in the limb, but that's something you need to attend to because in future storms or perhaps even upcoming storms, you know, like you see the break in this young tree, right. that needs to be removed and it needs to be removed right at the main stem. You know, so take the time to assess the damage. Um, Check your shrubs and any of your ornamental plants to see if any damage has occurred to them, if any root heaving has occurred. Sometimes if you've had bigger shrubs like lining the property, they may have been heaved. Also, you know, one of the things that you want to take a look at once you've assessed all the damage is be realistic about what you're able to take care of. Don't get out there, you and your buddy, you know, six pack of beer and a <laughs> chainsaw does not make for good tree pruning. Right. Call the experts if it's something really big. Yeah, and you know, I know a lot of people think it's expensive, they want to try to save the money, but it could save your house in the long run or someone else's house. Or if someone it's, else's. Right, if Absolutely. it's done properly. Okay, so the other thing, you know, you were talking about after the storm, planting trees that you can take care of. For instance, what do we have This here? is a baby ginkgo, and know the tree. This little tree... Looks innocent. Looks innocent. Within the next, you know, decade, mm -hmm. it'll be a 30 to 40 foot tree and in 20 years it can be an 80 to 100 foot tree. They wow. become huge. They tower over houses. This is not the tree that you want to put next to your house. The other thing that you want to look at, this tree has some damage at the bottom there and when you are pruning a tree, you want to make sure that you do regular maintenance to the tree. Make sure that you're cleaning it up. Make sure that you're having cross limbs removed. Make sure that if damage occurs, that the damage is properly removed. If you leave that damaged portion at the bottom of that tree there, over time, it will not properly heal and it could rot, causing a different, you know, another problem. Also, this is something that people really need to know. Stop staking newly planted trees. You see a lot of people do it. I see them everywhere. It's That's... done all the time. It weakens the tree's roots. Roots are lazy. They're only going to do what they have to. <laughs> a tree, when wind hits it, it sends messages to young roots telling the roots that they need to be stronger. When you stake that tree, it may be okay if you have a tree installed and they put a stake for about a month just to get the tree established. Get rid of it after that. I see stakes being left on for several years. That weakens the tree. The tree mass becomes weak. And then what you end up with is eventually an adult tree that has a very shallow root mass. And that's not good. That's when we see a lot of the trees that have come down, especially in tree boxes, were those young trees that were staked years ago. All and right. they just don't have the root mass to sustain themselves. Here's a picture. Right, this was Edmund Street. I think where I was, uh, there was two trees that came down, these massive trees. And How this is this... what we're seeing all over the city. Well, first of all, it's being confined into a little tree box that's maybe 20 by 5. So the tree roots are already compromised. And then you've got this whole thing where it was probably staked. Also, if you look at this picture, there's two separate side leads that have come off and that has also weakened the tree. This is where you get in touch with an arborist, you get someone to take care of those trees so that in future storms we don't have as many problems. All right, Derek Thomas with Thomas Landscapes, thank you for coming in. Such great advice. Get out there and cut the things down yeah, now. Be, be a Do steward and take right. care of it now. All right, thank you, Derek. Well, the answer to today's trivia question is coming up next. We'll be right back.